Hi, I'm Cooking Appa. As you can see from here, I'm trying to show how do I make sambal, yeah, chili paste, <coughs> with a dried shrimp. <coughs> so, for the color, for the sambal to have very nice reddish color, you need to use dried chili, yeah, because I noticed some people actually choose to use the fresh chili. But no, if you're using the fresh chili, you can never get the nice reddish color that you want. So the dried chili is a must. Uh, soak them, soak them in water until it is softened. Okay, of course you will have to soak the uh, also soften, uh, hydrate your hydrate your dried shrimps. Okay, and um, it depends. It depends on you whether you want to blend this or not. I'm still deciding. Okay, it's up to you. I haven't decided yet. Now I have some. Uh, this is uh, asam here. Okay, tamarind, tamarind paste. So here are the fresh spices, the red onion, blachan. Always remember you have to dry roast the blachan. The difference between dry roasting brachan and those you straight away use it, you can be feel a three to five times different fragrance. Okay, you have to dry roast the brachan in your in uh, in your pan later. Okay, a bit of uh, lemon glass, more garlic, a bit of uh, red chili, fresh chili, galangal, uh, ginger and also turmeric okay so i'm going to uh, dry roast my blachan then and blend all these fresh ingredients together with the uh, my red chili together and also with the uh, 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 asam, asam paste all right we'll come back after this now this is the kind of consistency you want after i blend all the fresh ingredients you may want to um, if you find it a bit difficult to grind because everything is too dry, do not add water, add oil. You know why? Because if you add water, later when we want to fry our, our chili paste later, it will actually take even longer time because we want to disperse out all the water. If you add oil, later you can actually add lesser oil. Okay, so always add oil then you can, you can actually reach this uh, uh, nice creamy consistency here. Okay, you can see from here I have heated up some oil. Oops. I'm going to fry my and my uh, dried uh, prawn. Why? Because in especially in Chinese cooking, we are always thinking of how to bring the flavor, the real original flavor, out from that particular ingredient. So the best way to bring out the flavor from a uh, dry prawn is two things. Number one, you hydrate it again, meaning you replenish the water into it, you soak it until it is softened again. After that, you deep fry it. Yeah, you fry it until a bit crispy, then I'm going to actually blend it also. Yeah, this way it will actually bring out the real original flavor and enhance the flavor of the uh, dried prawn itself, okay? It will not take very long until everything gets crispier. Okay, so we'll come back shortly. After that, I'm after everything gets dry out here, I'm going to uh, blend it also. We'll come back after this. Okay, just now after deep frying uh, the dry prawn, I actually blend it. Yeah, to be uh, cause this kind of consistency, not too fine. Yeah, you don't want it to be too fine. And, but I will also add in some uh, some extra uh, dry prawn. 
You are just for the different texture, okay? You don't want it to be uh, too fine and because you actually want the flavor, uh, when you want the flavor, by the same time you want some uh, texture also in your mouth. Alright? So I've heat, I've, uh, heat up a bit of oil here. You don't want to be too hot. You have to start with medium heat. If not, it's going to burn your chili paste. Okay? So this is the chili paste. You can actually add it in, in the cold oil. Save first. So that you won't get burnt easily. I'll probably remove a bit of oil. This is actually the oil I used to fry my uh, bread corn just now. Okay. I'll slowly add in the oil. Yep. Now depending on the amount of sambar here, how do you know whether it's ready? Basically, you need to keep on stir frying it and slowly add in the oil until you see the oil really start to break and changing color. How will it change in color? You will actually want it, you want to see all the chili oil start to come up and also you want to see it gets darkened and darkened. How will it get darkened? After you add sugar. You basically have to to add a quite a uh, um, good amount of sugar for this particular dish, okay? You will you will notice by adding sugar, you will actually caramelize, yeah, caramelize. The whole thing will caramelize and become darker and darker, more reddish and more uh, reddish and reddish as you stir fry. And it, this process can easily take you uh, maybe even say 10-15 minutes easily but of course we actually pre-cook the, uh, the prawn the dried prawn so that will actually help to cut the timing down you can really smell all the very nice fragrance coming out from all the different spices the garlic the lemongrass the uh, the dried rose uh, blachan okay and it can be choking <laughs> okay about this beautiful flavor. Okay, slowly we can actually add in more oil. It's okay to have more oil because when you if, when you cannot finish, when you cannot finish this sambal, normally you will not bake it for one dish. You are going to make once and then keep it for at least one week in the fridge, right? So you will actually need extra oil to actually cover the sambal so that it can actually properly uh, keep and uh, remain fresh in the fridge for you so do not worry about too much oil okay it is so fragrant right now it's so so fragrant i'm going to add in the uh, fresh one first because the cooked one i can add it later Now you can actually slowly increase the heat. Be careful if you are using a standard steel because it can it can burn at the bottom. Alright? So you need a bit more oil. And you don't want too hot. See just now I thought there was too much oil, but now it's okay actually. It's okay to toss in every all the oil just now. Wow, I wish you can smell this. I really wish you can smell this. And did you notice the color already started to change darker? Even before I start to add uh, the, the sugar. 
Okay, I don't want it to uh, burn at the bottom, so I actually turn it, the heat a bit downwards. This is the thing with stainless steel. You get a better bouquet, but it can get burned easier. Alright, now I'll toss in these are the deep fried, yeah, the deep fried dry prawn. So this is going to really enhance the flavor of your sambal heavy, yeah, your heavy. Heavy is meaning in, uh, in Chinese means the dried prawn. But like I said, if you pre-cook the prawn, it is going to cut short your chine. Now we need, we can do a bit seasoning right now, salt. Okay, and you usually need more sugar. Wow, the flavor. You'll be surprised. Anything sweet, uh, anything uh, spicy, actually, sugar goes very well with it. Okay? You don't want it to be spicy all the way. Yeah, because the sugar is going to round out the spiciness a bit and it's going to bring out the flavor to uh, the few level up. Just start seeing the color darken, like what I mentioned just now. Yes, much is darker than just before because the sugar has started to caramelize. Yeah, I'm actually using medium heat, but it's actually almost done. Okay, the reason why I keep stirring is because I don't want it to stick onto the bottom of my wok I wish you can smell this I really wish you can smell this and look at the red the beautiful red chili oil coming out the reddish color of this beautiful reddish color of this sambal okay let me taste it then I'll add a bit of soya sauce this is so 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 appetizing and it is not spicy okay how do you how do you make sure your sambal is not spicy be careful on the chills uh, when you are trying to choose your when you are trying to choose your dry chili choose the bigger one don't i have once accidentally buy a small small size dry chili that was super spicy okay buy the bigger one so usually that is not so spicy but you get the nice chili fragrance together with the beautiful reddish color okay and always remember for the good sambal you need to use dried chili, not fresh chili. Okay? Dried chili is a lot more important. It's actually faster than I thought. Very beautiful color. Let me quickly taste it. Wow, so yummy. Mm. Okay. Turn down the, it's, actually, it's actually done. I'm just adjusting the sugar. Okay, I'm just adjusting the sugar. The taste, that's all. I'm using, I'm going to add in some brown sugar. Brown sugar has much softer 
sweetness. Okay, it has much softer sweetness. This is why brown sugar is always very good for uh, desserts. Well, of course, if I say this is totally not spicy, I'll be, I'll be cheating because this is still made by chili. A chili is meant to be spicy, okay? Now the beautiful, the, the beautiful part, the best part about spiciness and the toughest part about spiciness is uh, no, you, the most challenging part is how you make it look very appetizing but spicy but not too spicy so that people can eat, yeah, most people can eat. See, the color has, dark, has darkened even more. Such a beautiful flavor coming out here. Let me taste it again. Mm. Perfect. It is now perfect. Okay? Alright. So this is the heavy, heavy sambal. Yeah, the sambal with dried prawns that I'm making. If you like my video, do share out on your Facebook to your friends and come to my Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click the like and also the following button. Not forgetting, more importantly, go to my Cooking Appa YouTube channel, click the subscribe button together with the notification button. Okay? And Go to my Instagram to uh, follow my Instagram. Alright, I hope you all like my cookings today. Thank you very much. See you.